Oh. <laughs> the interesting thing about depression is that for me, it shows me a picture of like what the gospel does, right? Because sin is never something that we defeat once and for all. Like Jesus has already done it, but we, so we are justified 100% right before the Lord when we accept that. But we are continually being sanctified. We, we still struggle day to day with sin. You know, that's something Paul talks about all the time. Nobody's life is perfect day to day. That's just like not how it is. I mean, probably my worst was when I got diagnosed. Uh, my sophomore year of college because I went to the doctor and he was like, how long have you been feeling like this? And I was like, ugh, I don't know, it's two months. He was like, well, then probably you've been feeling like this for four months. You just haven't like really realized it. But I had dug myself so deeply into isolation, like not talking to people how I felt, not going, coming to church, like totally disconnecting from my community, um, that it was really difficult to like climb back out of that whole because once you haven't been telling people that you've been feeling this way and you have to start telling them it's like uh, it's like the most awful awkward painful conversation you have to be like hi I've been feeling like the lowest piece of scum for like the past four months and I haven't told you about it because I was embarrassed and I didn't think you would understand but really I've been absolutely miserable and I think um there's a quote. There's a quote in Harry Potter <laughs> uh, where Luna Lovegood is talking about Voldemort, the evil Dark Lord, and and uh, she's like, you know, he wants you to feel alone. Like that's how he gets you. He he wants you to feel like you're the only one that you're alone, and that's what Satan does. Satan wants you to think that you're the biggest, baddest sinner of them all, and that you know you're the only one who struggles with this. You're the only one who feels worthless, and you are worthless because you're the only one who feels that way. Um, and by being open and talking with people, that defeats the isolation aspect of it. it. It makes you realize that everybody struggles with something. Like, it doesn't have to be depression or anxiety. Everybody is going to struggle with a battle at some point in their life. And if we bottle that up and we don't talk about it, Satan wins. Even though it was, when I eventually did it, painful, it would have been so much better if I had been open with people. Like, open up to people, go to people that you know are wiser than you, talk to them. Like, that's what I wish I had known, that like people love you, your community cares about you, and yeah, they're gonna like probably give you some hard truths that aren't gonna be fun, but ultimately those things are gonna lead to healing and to being put back into a community rather than feeling isolated. I also know that I have another home in Singapore um, and that I feel so called there, even though it's sometimes it's hard and sometimes it's difficult. And you know, like I still get depressed on the other side of the world. Amazing. Um, but that there is so much purpose, even in that, um, that God's going to call you to do hard things. And you, you go and you make disciples of all nations, wherever that is, even if it's hard. No, I love it. Blooper reel.